ukulele friends. Today's conversation starter is what is your favorite kind of weather? For me, today in my favorite It's 52 degrees Fahrenheit, the sun is out, there's a little bit of a breeze and some wispy clouds in the blue sky. I'm taking my puppy for a walk and wow, there are lots of cyclists about to come. I'm gonna see if I can get them in the shot. Puppy, stay seated, sit, good boy. A lot of people are enjoying this day. Wow! Oh, there's going to be another crowd of cyclists coming. Hello, hello! I can't wait to find out about your favorite weather. Hello, ukulele friends. Today we're going to be working on G7. This is our first chord using three fingers. So we're going to put our index finger on the open E string, first fret, just like we would for the F chord. Now we're going to put our second finger on the open C string, second fret. And then we're going to put our third finger on the open A string, second fret. See how it makes like a little triangle? And the point of the triangle, the top point of the triangle, is your index finger. So let's listen. Now, if you're having trouble with this, you can pivot your arm up a bit so that your wrist is flat, so that you're not like um, you don't have an angle at your wrist. You want your wrist to be flat. So bring your elbow up and pivot your hand up a bit. All right. So let's do on page 31 my fourth chord. Again, first finger, second finger, third finger. So we're going to do eight counts in four, four time nice and slow. I know that this is going to be um, a stretch for your fingers and that's okay, but make sure that your fingers are just above the fret lines, the fret bars. I'm going to do it first and then we'll do it together. So just listen and tap your foot. One, two, ready, go. Alright, so now let's do it together. One, two, ready, go. Four, G, seven, use three fingers. Excellent. Great job. Now we're going to work on our practice sheet, switching between the different chords. See you soon. Hello, ukulele friends. We are working with using G7 with other chords on pages 32 and 33 in your book. So first, I want you to look at the chords down here. And we're just going to review really quick. So G7, remember? G7, C7, C chord. And F. All right. So the important thing about this video is that I want you to be able to switch between C and G7 easily and then between F and G7 and then between all three easily. G7 and C. Once you're able to do that, then you're going to, oh, my puppy's all excited. Once you're able to do that, then you're going to be able to work on someone to lava. But first we need to get these three chords and the transitions between them 
uh, easily under your fingers. All right, so on page 33, we are going to start with the first line. I'm gonna do it first. I want you to watch and tap your feet, and then we'll do it together, okay? So four, four time, one, two, watch me go. See, 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 rest, pivot, G7, 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 rest and switch. C, 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 G7, 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 C, two, three, four. Excellent. So now let's do it together. We're going to slow it down a little bit. And I really want you to focus on using that third finger on the or on the third fret to make the C and then switching so that you lift your elbow up. That first finger goes on uh, that open E string and see how your C finger is going to lift up and pivot and then you're going to make the little triangle. All right, so C to G7. All right, so let's do that together. Tap your toes. One, two, ready, go. C, 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 rest, pivot. C7, G7, G7, rest and pivot back down. And that third finger goes down. We're going to do four, two, three, four, and now we switch, pivot. We're going to do four again. Two, three, four, and then back to C. Pivot and go down. Two, three, rest. Excellent. So let's do that together one more time, okay? Uh, and we'll do it a we'll do it slow, but I'm not gonna talk as much, okay? We're just gonna focus on the music right here. Okay? So let me move over so you have enough room. All right. One, two, ready, go. Nice job. Excellent. So in the next video, I'll see you for uh, the next line on page 33. Kaleli friends, in this video, we are switching between F chord and the G7 chord. So remember how we make the F chord? We put our first finger on the open E string, first fret, and our second finger on the open G string, second fret. To switch to G7, we just bring our elbow up, move our second finger uh, over, and add our third finger. And then to make F again, we just bring our elbow back down, pivot our hand, and... All right, so we are going to do the second line on page 33, starting with the F chord. First, watch me and then we'll do it together. One, two, ready, go. F, 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 rest, G7, 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 rest, F, Excellent. So let's do that together. Okay, so we're going to do the F chord. We're going to go F, G7, F, G7, F. Okay? 
One, two, ready. Excellent job. Now in the next video, we're going to do all three chords. We're going to go from F to G7, ooh, to C, actually all four chords, and then to C7, then back to F, G7, and C. All right, see you in the next video. Hey friends, so we are going to work on the last two lines of page 33, G7 with other chords. Okay, so we're going to be switching between F, G7, C, C7, then we're going to go back to F, I'm sorry, ooh, sorry, back to F, then G7, and then C, okay? So, let's, uh, why don't you watch me first, and then we'll do it together, okay? So tap your toes. One, two, ready, go. Excellent. So let's do it together and keep in mind that we're doing four beats per measure until the last um, chord change where we're at C for four counts and then another three counts for a total of seven counts with a rest at the end. Okay? <clears throat> so we're going to start with F. Let's do this together. Are you ready? One, two, ready. Excellent. So once you feel like you can go between those four chords easily, uh, we are going to do Someone to Lava uh, from the Disney short film uh, next week. All right. So keep working and I will see you soon. I can't wait to see your videos.